what's up guys welcome back to another video so today just a couple updates on the jeep or the the wrangler 392 since you pay for that extra title um done a couple ex uh, little updates here uh got some awesome decals made by underground graphics they are online i think they're out of texas but changed the little look of this thing got rid of the gold decals we went with the orange rubicon and then the little um, fender insert here. And then there's the one to let everybody know that we ever paid for a Jeep. I'm just kidding. But this um, whole package does make the Jeep look a lot better. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the photos I posted last week of everything. Since we put the 40 inch tires, the 20 inch wheels on here, they are the color of my old Jeep. Uh, the sun's not really out right now because there's not, you're not really seeing the flake, but this thing looks a lot better as you can see. That all ties it together. Still debating on getting rid of this little gold here and here. Um, and uh, there's a little bit of gold here on the hood. So we're in the process of maybe taking those apart. I know we're gonna do the hooks for sure. Just gonna pull the bumpers and get those powder coated, but haven't really decided if I'm gonna, you don't really notice the gold as much now with the, you know, the orange decals and it kind of breaks it up a little bit. I feel like if I do orange here and on the hood, it might be a little bit too much. They also make a pretty sweet graphic that goes on the hood here. It's all flat black and they can put Hemi cut out in it or they can do it here. I just felt like that was too many stickers to put on the um, front of the Jeep. I didn't want to have a ton of stickers all over it. So of course we've got our gutted fenders and stuff. We're still waiting on some stuff to come in. I'm telling you these parts are crazy. I mean, you've ordered some, uh, what is it? Rock slide engineering power steps. Got those ordered last weekend and they will be here in six weeks. So. Hopefully we'll have them here, you know, sometime in August. Yeah, we just got back from the 4th of July celebration of our wonderful nation. So trying to order some of these parts and get them in our way. Today, it's not really an instructional video, but I have picked up a Taser Mini. Um, comes in, I got two boxes because I ordered the extended cable for, for making it easy to remove for like a dealership visit or something like that. And you, all you do, it, it tells you what all to do. You know, you plug in a computer, go online to their website you can get the updated um updated file and what i did too is i wrote the number that it comes with on there in case i lose this paper it comes with because my pin number is 3896 you will need that when you install it and you'll have to go through your infotainment your evic and you'll need that code to unlock it to pair it to your vehicle it comes with a USB C to usb I already updated it so we're gonna it's really simple really um of course you get in the jeep and there's a little kick panel there where your knee goes we'll remove this panel and it's going to be right above the obd i don't know if the lighting will really show but I'll try to film it if i can see it i don't know it's kind of dark in the garage and it's about the rain so I'm not really gonna pull it out but we will get this pulled up show you a couple things it does I don't know all, I mean, I've seen videos and stuff of stuff it does. And a lot of it is for Jeeps that don't have like LED lights or a front camera, or if you had like the small screen in your Jeep and you want to change it to like the 8.4 that this one came with. I see this Jeep came pretty loaded. So there's not a lot of options that this doesn't have, unfortunately. So I don't, can't show you a whole lot, but I can show you, it does do tire sizes. It does change things like that. This is a all wheel drive, four wheel drive Jeep all time. The only time I can put it in two-wheel drive is never because it's full-wheel drive. It's either four high, full or low, or four high part-time. So if you get the Taser, the great part about it is the guy that developed the Taser has a 392. And I'm pretty sure that he jailbroke this thing in like two hours after he got a Taser on it. So pretty cool. This thing can go to two-wheel drive. So we will unlock that feature. I'm not sure exactly where you get to it. But most of the stuff is all, I mean, it's all through the steering wheel controls. You, you'll you hold down the left um, button on the steering wheel and that pretty much gets you into it. And then you'll scroll up and down using the up and down on the set and the cruise and the middle buttons like your inner button and everything will show up right here in the middle of the screen. We were at a whopping 166 miles. And of course we are trying to mod this thing. So we'll get this thing plugged in. Um, not really sure how long the video will be. Um, loving the Jeep. Next up, we'll be taking these doors off since we've got them ceramic coated and everything. And we're going to put them up on the wall since I got rid of the old Jeep. I still have the hangers 
on the wall and the JEL doors will fit where a JK door will fit. So I don't have to buy new hangers or anything like that. So we'll get these off hopefully here. I don't know if in this video, if not the next, but they will be off this weekend. Uh, we have a huge box show locally. So my hands are tied with that for the weekend. So try to get that done. Um, if you're local and this video goes live before this weekend, it's July 10th and 11th. Well, not 10th, 11th. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's a huge audio um, motorcycle like Harley's, Baggers, uh, customization show. Um, it's local at Tulips in Johnson City, Tennessee. So uh, we got the Ram back in the garage, but rambling on now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this kick panel pulled off and we will, pretty sure it just snaps. There's a couple black pin or push pins. Let's see. So just like that, start on one side, it should pop just like that. So there's six of them and I just use my hand. So pretty much easy to pull off, get that out of the way. And then they're here, uh, just like I figured, can't really see anything with this lighting, but it will be up here above the OBD. The OBDs are to the left where the brake pedal is and we will get that unplugged and plug the new taser in. And I'll get back with you in just a second. Alrighty. So it's directly above the OBD and I've got them unplugged here and they're two, you know, just two different sizes too. So you can't mess it up because the female part of this, hold on, you see it. There's a smaller one and a bigger one. So can't mess it up. Those will just plug in there. So we'll snap those in. And the reason why too, is like, this is real kind of up in there. So if you didn't have the extension, the taser would sit way up in there. This makes it easy to pull it back out because a lot of these functions, you have to have it plugged into your Jeep to leave it to where they work. So if you were to take it to a dealer, you can unplug it easier and everything works. So we'll get that plugged in and we'll tuck it up there and I'll show you what it looks like plugged in. So we got it plugged in here and the taser was flashing. There's a little dot right there, you see. So it is connected to the Jeep. We will get in here, press the power button. Just gonna leave it hanging for right now. Shut the door. And I'm pretty sure you just hold the left button. Alrighty guys, so you hold in the left button. When you get to the audio, it's like screen number seven. And you'll use the left and right button here on the steering wheel to cancel. And then, so it says key not on, because I turned it off. So now it says key on. We will press lot show. It's got zero DTCs, diagnostic codes. Well, I messed up, I hit the button. Go back to the radio. You wanna go to where it says Mary. So clear CELs, Mary, hit the middle button. So it's Marion, it'll count down. Start at 17, so it's counting down. It's just unlocking the taser and matching it with the computer of the Jeep. All right, so now we are connected as married. So we will hit the left button, performance, TPMS. We need to turn it off. As you can tell, my light is flashing. I don't have sensors in these wheels. So we will put no. And then 37 PSI, front, rear, You can reboot them after you change the setting. And the whole time you're holding your finger on the left button here. All right. So the light show, you can train it to where it does like a Tesla dance with all the lights and LEDs. It's got no DTCs, don't want to clear anything. You don't want to unmarry. It's performance. 
So here we go. The tire is set at a 33.07. Use the up button until we get closer to a 40. I've measured these tires. They're not exactly a 40. It's like a 39 and a half. So we will get close to that. It'll be a lot closer than the 33 it was on. So we got... Let's just do 33.66. So it sets it when you hit the enter button. And we'll keep hitting left. Gear ratio is still 373. I've not changed anything with the gearing yet. Four lows still the same. TPMS, I don't think I pressed it right when I did it the first time. So we'll hit no. I'm just going to turn it all the way down to zero on the, it'll let you go to 25. So you can actually add a, another camera where it's got a front and rear camera already. It says camera enabled, no. Um, or cargo camera all this stuff we're not going to turn on because I don't have it or the but I mean you can do all kinds of stuff on here say your Jeep didn't have LEDs you could put it you could add it and turn them on with this so off-road sway bar a lot of stuff you can lock your you know turn your lockers on That's the update, the serial number. So we'll do the light show. So you can tell the lights are doing a little flash dance thing. Pretty cool for like a, you know, Jeep show or an event. If you don't have a bunch of lights on your Jeep, you can at least turn this on. So we will get out of that. It's got one. one code now we will clear it and it could be where I don't have the um, daytime running lights anymore until I get my chop kit it could be noticing that the um, lights aren't on there and I mean there's a lot of stuff on here too you go into other and you can see like your radio, your blonde spots. You can add so much stuff to this thing. Like if you bought a, you know, splash screen, it's on JL Sport. You could change it to the, the Rubicon screen. You can change it to the JL Ruby Sport. So we'll leave it on the dual zone. A lot of this stuff, like I'm saying, is your Jeep didn't come with it you can add it or turn it on or enable it so I'm gonna reboot everything so I'm gonna count down that way it'll save all those settings and it won't give you any error codes or anything like that you and the whole time you want to keep holding this left arrow button down so we'll fast forward to when this is um, rebooted and the Jeep is going through its process. I'm going to turn off the Jeep. See, I don't 
don't have any of the sensors or the tire pressure, so it's not giving me a lot. It's just going to show that there's nothing available because I don't have, I actually have the sensors. I just didn't put them in the wheels since they're bead locks. I didn't want to break them all down, but that's pretty much it for, you know, the taser that I'm going to use it for until, you know, I get gears or I get re-geared. I mean, same thing. If I get it re-geared or change the gears, I'm going to, you know, we'll have to enable all that where the computer and it'll track the right mileage and all that. And uh, the computer for the shifting points of this eight speed transmission. But I'll get you a little zoom clip of the exhaust. But we got all that installed. I mean, it's a really simple install. It's really beneficial if you don't have a loaded out Jeep and you want to add like, pretty sure eventually you're going to be able to add these steering wheels to like a America's Most Wanted kit and have the paddle shifters enabled. If you didn't have the big screen, you can enable that. You can add to the LED lighting, but we're going to leave this plugged in. We'll zip tie it out of the way and put the panel back in there. We'll leave that, you know, plugged in unless we go to a dealer. But the taser is really good. I think it's like 300 bucks. And the little additional cable was like 25 or 30. Really easy. Really packaged nicely. It gives you a little sticker. Uh, Z Automotive. The link will be down in the description below. Um, great product. Great guys. Um, if you want to add a trail camera. If you, uh, like you ordered a Jeep and you didn't pick all your options. And you didn't have a camera from factory. You can add it. You can change the lights. We have the factory lights here that we're going to sell. You can add those. Um, very cool. I mean, for something so simple, it, it, you know, it's pretty cool. They jailbroke this whole computer system, but that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. Wrap up this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you've not been here before, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you've got one of these 392s. There's been several people comment that they've just gotten theirs or they're going to take delivery on it. We're waiting on our spare delete plate, our inner fenders, and a few things. We're going to change the rear bumper course and get this thing started to go on this build process i just want to thank you guys for joining and watching this build and hopefully you like the new updates uh, just something subtle you know just a couple stickers but it changes the whole look of the jeep get rid of that gold and we'll catch you guys next time stay tuned for the build process and give this video a like